Hey guys, Angela here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on my face. Please stick around until the end of the video just to check out my full vibe. And if you like it here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, thank you so much for clicking on another video. Today's video is going to be a style video. Y'all know I love doing these types of videos and we are going to do a personal style uniform video and I'm going to be talking about a few staples in my fall winter wardrobe. I usually lump fall and winter together because when it's cold in Chicago, it's cold girl. So I wear the same thing from now all the way through through June when it decides to get warm again um, in Chicago so I'm gonna share a few of my favorites it's not an exhaustive list because I didn't want the video to be extremely long but it is some of the things that I reach for and am able to mix and match um, in a million different ways within um, my style uniform in my wardrobe and we're gonna start with the outfit that I have on now because it actually includes three of the categories that I'm going to be talking about today so really quick for the outfit that I am wearing on today, I have on this uh, Paris crew neck sweater from Anina Bing um, on top of just a white collared uh, shirt. And then I have on these black leggings with a little split detail on the side. These are what I consider fashion leggings. And they, don't mind the shoes. The shoes aren't a part of this, but I'm in the house recording. I'm not gonna put on real shoes in my house, right? So I just have on a pair of um, Nike flip flops. These are the Offline 2.0 if you're interested in them and you like them. Super comfortable, very stylish. Every time I wear them, people ask me a million questions about them. But this is a typical fall and or winter outfit for me. The shoes would probably be a pair of combat boots um, or heeled boots or sneakers depending on like what I'm uh, doing or where I'm going. But all three of these pieces individually are pieces that I consider fall, winter wardrobe staples. And so we're gonna talk a little bit more about all three of these separately. Okay, so let's start up top with the collar shirt that I have on. This one here is just a uh, linen, like Abercrombie collar shirt I grabbed out of the men's sections at like a Nordstrom rack. Um, it's short sleeve, so it works perfectly under um, crew necks and things like that. So that's why I threw this one on. But white collar shirts are an essential part of my wardrobe all year round, but in fall, this is when I wear a more elevated style because typically in fall for whatever reason I have more events and things where I dress up a little bit more and so my style in the fall winter is either like super dressed down and casual or a little more elevated so one of my fall staples um, is definitely an elevated collar shirt preferably in white girl I love a white collar shirt um, I'll do black or like blue like a light blue light pink or light yellow as well but mostly white, I mostly prefer white. So I have a couple here that I'm going to share with you that I picked up um, either at the end of last winter or late spring, early summer and just hadn't gotten to get uh, any good wears out of them. I'm gonna move closer to the camera because I feel like it's gonna wash it out. This first one is by Selected Femme. I picked it up on sale from ASOS. And so like at first sight, it looks like just a plain white collar shirt, but the sleeve is actually a balloon sleeve, which I love. I love a balloon sleeve on a collar shirt I don't need a lot of like elevation a balloon sleeve is the perfect amount of elevation so it's just your typical white collar shirt with a balloon sleeve and then it has uh, a cuff um, on the wrist of the sleeve which I love so I haven't actually worn this shirt at all so I'm looking forward to styling this up with a cute pair of straight leg jeans and some black boots or a pair of trousers and some sneakers the possibilities are endless with white collar shirts that's why I love them so much and then if you're not new here, then you've seen this plenty of times. This is one that I picked up as a birthday gift for myself back in March from Ganny. I love Ganny. And it also has balloon sleeves. There's a theme here. Um, and it has sort of like this angled um, wrist, which I love. Um, my favorite part of it though is this rouged, like sort of um, ribbed center. It's that sort of like elasticy type material. It snatches you in. And then it's a little bit of a high neck and then it zips up the back here. I am obsessed with this shirt. I took pictures in it, um, but I haven't actually worn it. I featured it in a few videos, but I'm looking forward to actually styling it up in outfits. And then of course I have um, a couple like white poplin shirts and things like that that I like to layer under sweaters and um, style in other various ways throughout the fall winter. So definitely, definitely have to have 
a few good white collar shirts. So the next thing on my list is a turtleneck or high neck, whatever you uh, refer to it as. I know we call it different things in different places. We call it turtlenecks here in the US of A, and so that's what I'm going to be referring to it as. I am obsessed with fitted turtlenecks. So I have a closet full of them, to be quite honest, and they're in black and different variations of like nudes and tans and white. I don't have any white ones on hand because actually I would have styled um, a white turtleneck under this uh, crew neck for this video as well but I don't have one because you know armpits had to get rid of it that type of thing um, so I'm actually on the hunt for a couple good white turtleneck shirts but I love turtlenecks as well to style under sweaters like this as I said but also they just look super sleek and clean with just a classic pair of jeans and a boot and a leather jacket you cannot go wrong with the turtleneck so like I said I have a few of them um one of the ones that i picked up most recently is this one from mm6 mesa margilla it's in this black and white polka dot pattern i love it i got it on super 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 sale from net a porte like 70 bucks like 70 dollars for mm6 um turtleneck and it's sort of like this nylon material it's a little bit see-through so i'm excited to wear this with like a super cute like detailed black bra that'll peek through it just enough and i have a pair of like black uh wide leg leather trousers that I cannot wait to wear this with. I also want to pair it with my black uh, page skinnies, the only pair of skinny jeans that I own. I do not like skinny jeans except for the page denim skinny jeans in black. So this is gonna be super cute with that, stuffed into like some boots that go to my knee, super cute. So yes, gotta have a few, more than a few. I have too many turtlenecks, but that, we ain't talking about that, okay? Okay, so sticking up top, we're gonna move on to sweaters. Uh, more specifically, sportswear style sweaters. So sweatshirts, uh, crew neck sweatshirts, hoodies, zip up sweaters, things like that. I have to have a variety of those in my wardrobe for fall winter because I literally wear them on a daily basis. Um, plus, sportswear in general is just a huge part of my personal style, and so I have a lot of it. Starting with the one that I have on, I mentioned it earlier, it's by Anina Bing. I stalked this sweater and finally got it when it came back in stock, and it's just this uh, like smoke gray, almost like a uh, vintage -y, uh, style sweater. It has sort of a balloon sleeve, not really, but it gives you sort of that balloon effect. And it's just a basic crew sweatshirt, but I love it because it's versatile. I can wear it by itself with a leather jacket on top of it, or I can wear it layered on top of a collar shirt like I have it now, or on top of a uh, turtleneck, as I mentioned before. I can wear it with a pair of sweats and just have a full sporty look, or with leggings, like I have it on and throw in some heels. I can wear it with jeans. So they're just super versatile, and I just love sportswear. It's my thing. So let's talk about some other styles that I really enjoy. So first we have this essential zip up um, sweater. Now listen, I'm gonna be quite honest. I typically am not a big fan of hoodies like this. It just reminds me of like old black men, right? They wear these sweaters that like zip up uh, the front. Not a fan, but my friend picked up this one from Essentials for me for my birthday um, in March. So I haven't gotten to wear it a lot. And I love the way that it looks on me. And she bought it in a large, so it's like super oversized. And I think that has a huge um, impact on why I like it so much because I also like my sportswear to be quite um, oversized and baggy so I can layer, layer, layer um, in the winter months because I don't, I do not like wearing coats, but it is the coldest of cold in Chicago. So I have to be able to layer up really good. So I typically buy my sportswear, my sweaters, my sweats and stuff like that pretty oversized, but I am really feeling how this uh, zip up hoodie looks on me. I love the way that it falls. Um, and so I can't wait to style it up. It actually looks really good with a turtleneck under it as well. So I will be styling it that way with like a pair of trousers and some sneakers. So definitely into zip up sweaters now. I'm gonna be buying more of those for sure. And then the newest sweater in my collection is by Advisory Board Crystals. This was actually a gift. I had never heard of this brand, but of course I went to look it up after I received the gift. And it's super dope and I like it. I love it. Y'all know I don't do color a lot, um, but I'm feeling this pink, especially because it's on just like this neutral cream color. And then on the back, it has this lettering that, I mean, you can see, but you can't see, you know what I'm saying? And so I'm super into like minimal branding or branding that makes people have to kind of stare 
year to figure out what it is so I love this sweater and this is gonna be cute with just like a pair of jeans a leather jacket and some combat boots so I'll be wearing this um, this fall winter as well and then just a good old hoodie because girl what is any fall winter without a collection of hoodies this one is by Carhartt I picked this up late last winter from like a dick sporting good I love this color I love just the Carhartt branding on the sleeve and I'm super into Carhartt for whatever reason last year I just was buying scullies and hoodies and all of that type of stuff so um yeah love this hoodie gotta have a bunch of different variations of hoodies and things in my wardrobe so those are definitely staples for me and I want more like a lot more it's like it's it's a really big obsession at this point I'm back so the next category is obviously black legging so uh, in addition to the pair that I have on with the slide slip from Zara slide slip say that seven times fast um, I have another pair um, by Zara that has a back zip so it's the exact same style of trousers but instead of the slides slide instead of the side slit it has a back zip so these are a little bit longer too than the ones that I have um, on this is the closer look at them um, they just are a basic pair of ribbed leggings in black from Zara again I'm going to link these uh, if I can find some on their site and maybe buy a couple more pair for myself but I literally wear these or these that I have on every other day every other day I have these leggings on they are so versatile i've had them forever you know sometimes zara has stuff that just tears up but sometimes some things are just a hit these are a hit for me i am obsessed with these leggings have to have a good pair or two or three of black fashion leggings and then in addition to these ribs leggings that i love i have to have a pair of leather or faux leather because these are faux leather leggings like your regular leggings they are like sweatpants to me if i'm if i'm not wearing these and i'm not wearing jeans or i'm not wearing sweatpants i let me put this hanger down let me put the hanger down i am wearing these Faux leather leggings. These are from Aritzia, so they're a pretty good quality. They're the Wilford Free brand. Um, this is my third fall winter with these, so I bought these two uh, falls ago, and I wear them. So, when I say I wear the hell out of these, they haven't lost their shape, they haven't ripped, they haven't torn, um, they don't have any wear in like the middle of them. They are like the perfect faux leather pants. They're a little bit of a splurge. Um, I think they're like one. 30 140 or something like that but so worth the splurge another thing that i really like about them is that they're super long and so they go all the way down to my ankle so i can wear them you know comfortably with like a heel or something like that without feeling like i'm flooded in leggings because i hate that don't nobody want no crop leggings so faux leather leggings or leather leggings are like a must staple in my wardrobe and I know that leather um is super on trend but this is something that I always 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 it's always in my wardrobe whether it's on trend or not and I'm actually in the market for a good pair of leather or they could be faux just like a really good faux leather pair of just like straight leg trousers soon come we'll see so next we're going to move on to outerwear because I hate coats I don't like wearing coats but I love a good jacket. I love a good jacket that I can layer over some stuff. So I have a few here uh, with me that I'm going to share with you. Uh, I don't have a leather jacket here. It's obvious that leather jackets um, are a staple in any fall um, or winter wardrobe or should be a staple in any wardrobe just in general. That is true for mine as well, but I am actually in the middle of trying to buy a leather jacket. I am, I have 700 leather jackets. I just, I am so confused. I think I have it down to two. So we'll see, you know, that's a, that's a splurge item. So we're taking our time and we're making sure that we buy, we're buying the um, right leather jacket for us. I, I, we won't go there. I was about to get into a whole tangent. Whatever, let's talk about what we have in front of us. Um, so I pulled out three jackets from my closet just to share with you. The first one is this camo jacket from Free People. If you've been around, you've seen this a million times. I wear this all the time in the fall, winter. Baby, people love this jacket. And it's funny because I didn't actually buy it from Free People. I saw it on Free People's site maybe like three years ago. It was like over a hundred dollars it was really expensive and i didn't grab it and then one day i was in a, um, a marshall's and walked up on it and it was in there 
and I paid $60 for it. So I have been wearing this every other day, every fall winter for the last three years and people always compliment me on this jacket. They love it. You can tighten it and sort of make the bottom of it balloon. So this is like my conversation piece. This is a showstopper. People are always stopping me and complimenting me on this particular jacket. So I wanted to share that one with you. Um, let me put it down though. It's heavy. The next one is this trench. This is like a faux leather, almost like a patent trench that I picked up last year, early last year um, from Nordstrom. It's the Leith brand, which is a Nordstrom brand. This is another one that I get so many compliments on like every time I wear this jacket. And I typically wear it when I'm dressing up a little bit, but listen, it also looks really dope over just like a sweatsuit, like a hoodie, some sweats and some sneakers, just to add a little oomph to an otherwise really dressed down outfit. But this one, I cannot wait to wear. I love wearing this coat because again, I get stopped all the time, I get asked about it and I love telling people oh girl it's from Nordstrom and it was only like $80 and getting people's reaction because it looks so expensive but it was not so she's another one that I absolutely love gotta have like a long style trench coat in your wardrobe Oh girl, let me tell you something. Jackets and stuff are so heavy. And so this last jacket here is the newest addition to my uh, jacket um, in my wardrobe and it is by Ganny. I picked this up from Nordstrom in Houston on last month and as soon as I saw it, I was like, I need that jacket. I, I need that jacket. I need that jacket for no other reason than I need that jacket, right? So it does come in a set. It actually came with shorts, but I'm like, I don't need the shorts. Let me get closer so y'all can see this. Um, I love this jacket. I love the sleeves. They're super long on me, which I have long limbs because I'm tall. I'm 5'8", so that's pretty tall for um, a woman, a little bit over average height. And so my limbs are really long, and jackets just never go all the way to my um wrist but this goes all the way down with which i absolutely love it's cropped and it has like this rouging there and it has like the utilitarian style jackets which i'm really into um and then it has just like the simple branding here um and i just love it and i cannot wait to style it girl she is cute it's cool in chicago too like i could put this on today and get away with it because it's like 55 degrees it'll barely be 60 degrees today so i could actually throw this on <gasps> i love her so much do you love her do you die you should she's great the next category boots gotta have boots so let's get into it so first up combat boots they are like the sneakers of fall winter <laughs> meaning i wear them all the time these are by ash i picked them up last uh i picked them up <laughs> last fall off of Poshmark and they were pretty much in pristine condition and when I say I wore these every day almost after I bought them and they are still in really good condition so you have to get a really good pair of combat boots well you don't have to but I have to have a really good pair of combat boots the best thing that I did was invest in a really good quality pair because I wear them so much the next style of boots is just a plain uh, ankle stiletto boot this is my preference I prefer this exact style, no bells, no whistles, and just like a stiletto heel. This is a pair from Zara. I've had these for maybe two years now and they've held up pretty well. They have like minimal pain, like they don't hurt really bad. I just love the sleek look. And I'm doing this thing where I am doing a lot of replacing stuff like Zara boots and stuff like that with a more quality pair because I wear them so much. Luckily, these have held up perfectly fine but i do want to get a better quality version of these but these will do for now so as long as they're holding up i'm going to be wearing them but i'm definitely keeping my eye out for a splurge version in this style but i love these next up a pair of cowboy boots now i know cowboy boots are back on trend they go in and out of trend um but they're back heavily on trend now but girl i lived in nashville for 12 years i went to undergrad and grad school in nashville so cowboy boots have kind of always been a part of my personal style these are over a decade old i bought these from a random shop in nashville back then it was a splurge for me i probably spent like 350 dollars on this pair of boots and as you can see they are well worn but that's how cowboy boots are supposed to look i don't want no brand new looking cowboy boots i don't want to have to buy a new pair and then break them in it took me 10 years to get these to look this way but here's the thing about these boots they are 
raggedy. I have to get these fixed before winter time because girl, it's a hole. It's a hole in the bottom of the boot. The heel is destroyed. I've gotten the zippers fixed so many times. Like they don't even have the same zippers on them. The zippers are different, but I am obsessed with these boots. As long as they can continue to be fixed, the heel can be fixed, the sole can be fixed, the zippers can be fixed, I am going to be wearing these boots. I am going to curse the day that I have to buy a new pair of cowboy boots because these are perfectly worn in. This is what your cowboy boots are supposed to look like. And they should be a staple in your wardrobe. Isabel Moran has cowboy boots every year. She knows. So I'm telling you, cowboy boots staple and then of course you have to have a taller boot so i recently picked up this uh this goes right up under the knee it's sort of like a cowboy boot almost um from shoots i needed a new pair of like taller black boots um and with the exception of those zara heels i'm not a big fan of a stiletto um so it has quite a thicker heel on it it gives you like amina muwadi vibes but they put their own little spin on them um i love a pointy toe i like a round toe too but i also love a pointy toe um and so i am obsessed with these boots i've worn them once i wore them to see dave Chappelle, and they weren't too bad i mean I don't know any heels that are just comfortable, but they didn't kill me. And I did quite a bit of walking in them. Gotta have a taller boot to wear like dresses, to stuff like um, skinny jeans, those uh, faux leather trousers I sh showed y'all in these with like a, a sweater, <clears throat> like a hoodie, like a hoodie, those leather leggings, these boots, and like a long wool coat. Cute. So you gotta have a pair of long black boots. You don't have to. I have to. We're talking about my wardrobe staples, but if you're looking for inspiration, get you a pair of long boots. And they were pretty affordable. They were like 250. That may be a little more, maybe 230, something like that. Anyway, got them from Shoots if you're looking for a good pair of black boots. <laughs> Dusty. Before we move on to the last category, I wanted to give an honorable mention to a pair of classic black pumps. These are Nine West, and I've had these for almost seven years now I bought these when I first moved to Chicago and look at how like sleek and expensive these look well they were expensive they were not cheap I bought these out of like Macy's or something for like $120 for a pair of nine West shoes but they are just so classic look at that heel that heel is a killer these shoes hurt so bad but in the fall winter because it's cold and I don't typically like wear my feet out when it's cold Whenever I need to wear a heel, if the outfit doesn't look great with a boot, then I grab these black pumps. And they typically look good with whatever dress or whatever thing that I'm trying to dress up that a boot won't work with. So another thing that is really important in my fall winter wardrobe is a pair of classic black pumps. Just wanted to throw that in there before we moved on to the last category, which is hats. If you've been here for a while, you know that your girl loves hats. You know that is a huge staple in my wardrobe. And in the wintertime, they're almost a necessity because it's so cold that you have to have something on your head in Chicago. I don't see how people go outside in Chicago without something on their head in the wintertime. So naturally, I have a couple of caps here because baseball caps are my thing. Y'all know I love them. This one is like a corduroy hat I picked up from Rude um, early this year, like late winter early spring it's corduroy so I haven't worn it a lot because once it starts getting hot, hot you can't wear a corduroy on your head and then this Anita Bing hat that I picked up recently I've been wearing her a lot but she's black perfect for fall winter gonna look good with this sweater and some black leggings just like some plain black leggings and some like super chunky socks and maybe my new balance 993s with a long wool coat and this hat super like sporty girl chic so gotta have a couple baseball caps and then also winter hats so winter hats are super important as i mentioned earlier i was on a carhartt kick last year so i have a couple scullies i love scullies i wear them all the time in the winter time looking like a bean head because you have to like ball your hair up under them if you have big hair like me or unless i have braids and then it's fine but got a couple beanies both of these are by carhartt um absolutely love them super big so i can fold them or pull them down or whatever the case may be so got beanies have to have those and then another Another thing that I love a lot and again they're super on trend but I sort of have always worn them are bucket hats and these are two um, more fall winter friendly bucket hats that I picked up closer to the end of winter last year so I didn't get 
get to wear them a lot. Um, and both of these are from Urban Outfitters. Fun fact, Urban Outfitters is like my favorite place to get buckets from because they always have like super cute, unique, bucket hats um like this one that i have on it's like a little shirling um super cute why did i do that and then this faux leather one and it has um shirling on the inside of it as well girl i look crazy but love a good bucket hat um can't wait to buy a whole bunch more for the winter this is actually cute i'll have to fix it because i look like that care what's that character on fat albert that has the scully that covers his face that's what i feel like i look that's fat albert right anyway love a good bucket hat love a good cap love a good scully all essential parts of my wardrobe um in fall winter anyway let me fix myself and come back and close out the video okay guys so that is going to conclude today's video i hope that you enjoyed it if you did make sure that you like comment uh if you haven't already subscribed to my channel also follow me over on tiktok and instagram i started a new instagram for my channel so i have less than 100 followers over there please go follow me on the page i'll put the handle um on the screen so go ahead and follow me there at sounds about angela and then over at tiktok where i'm seeing really good growth and uh engagement so come and join us over on tiktok if you don't already follow me over there uh my handle there is still my old uh youtube name which is suburban housewife that'll also be on the screen come and join me on my other socials again if you haven't already make sure that you subscribe to my channel and i will talk to you in the next video i have a bunch more um fashion and style and personal style videos coming so stick around join your girl and i'll see you next time bye